What's going on everybody? Uh, my name is Ricky. Appreciate you coming back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the um, XFX Radeon 5500 XT. Um, we'll do a quick unboxing and, uh, and just kind of talk about some of the specs. Now this card is definitely not new, um, but uh, basically this thing has a uh, game, uh, basically a clock speed, base clock speed of 1717 megahertz. Boost clock up to 1845, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory at uh, 14 gigabytes per second. Um, it is based off of AMD's RDNA architecture um, and a 7 nanometer GPU. Uh, one nice thing about it is it does support the PCIe uh, 4.0. So if you have a um, your AMD CPU right now, I believe Intel will probably be getting around to doing that soon, um, then you can definitely take advantage of that. Um, I'm in the middle of rebuilding this computer. I was going to wait for the uh, 3070s to come out before replacing my video card. Uh, unfortunately, I do need something in the meantime, and uh, it looks like NVIDIA is going to wait until uh, the end of this month to be releasing um, the 3070s. Uh, and based on the 3080 and 3090 releases, uh, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get, you know, a 3070 or 3080 or 3090 anytime soon. Um, so I don't, I didn't want to wait until who knows when, could be a couple months uh, from now before we're able to see those in stores regularly. Um, so I basically just wanted to get an entry level um, budget card to hold me over for a little while. Um, of course, you know, I don't want to have to go run out and buy anything immediately now. Uh, but, uh, so that's kind of why I ended up grabbing this card. Um, now I believe AMD plans on releasing their uh, their Big Navi um, sometime this month as well. So you'll see uh, the radio cards that are coming out with the RDNA 2 architecture later this month as well. So depending on when you watch this video, those could definitely uh, be on their way out the door. Uh, something to kind of keep in mind. Um, so we'll just take a quick, quick look at what we got inside. Throw it in there, maybe run a couple of tests and see how it does. Looks like we got a uh, power adapter. Installation guide, um, driver information, and of course the part itself. And uh, the part itself is pretty decent looking. I do like the uh, mostly black solid look to it. Um, is a dual fan configuration. Not, not the biggest card out there, but definitely not the smallest either. Um, so you gotta definitely double check to make sure if you're using a smaller form factor case. You may want to double check the clearance on this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. It does have a nice back plate um, to kind of help with the sag. Um, nice and solid, looks like metal. So that's pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this installed. Update the drivers and take a look and see what we got.
Alright, so uh, after about a full 24 hours or so playing with this video card, playing a few games, uh, doing some video editing, I just kind of want to give some of my final thoughts. First and foremost, I know that the titles for the games are um, a bit outdated. Um, I have not been an active game player in, in quite some time, so uh, those are really the only ones that were still left kind of like on, a, on another hard drive that was already in here. Um, I will probably start downloading some newer titles uh, just to kind of test some different things like that in the future. But for now, that's really all I have. So uh, I, I do apologize um, for not having up to date titles. But uh, my kind of opinion is, you know, as far as the gameplay went in those games, playing on ultra settings on, on 1080, um, everything was was pretty smooth. Um, definitely no uh, no lag. So if you're looking for you know, some uh, kind of be, I would say entry level card. Um, it, it definitely ran smooth. Uh, video editing went went smooth as well. Um, you know, obviously this isn't a, a 2080 Ti or, or 38 or something like that. This is this is an entry level card, uh, but for what it is, I think it held up pretty well. Um, I can see definitely a big notice going from a laptop that had I want to say it was, yeah, you know, 860 or something like that um, GTX which is obviously outdated as well um, a night and day difference in, in just encoding and video editing um, having a lot more RAM uh, RAM available definitely helps out so uh, you know in fact this entire video that, that you're watching now was edited on this video card um, I even edited up until this very little section here of my final thoughts um, prior to doing this just so that I had you know gotten a feel of um, how it went with the editing portion of it which is one of the main reasons why you know I wanted to go ahead and just get a card to put in there for now so that I can go ahead and, and edit instead of having to wait uh, another month month and a half for the availability um, of either you know the, the new NVIDIA's 3000 series or any kind of um, the, the Ryzen 6000 series um, as I talked about kind of earlier in the video, um, but yeah, the the two the two games that I played, you know, it was uh, it was smooth. Um, if you're looking for 1080 gameplay, it should probably be just fine. Um, but look, if you're if you're looking to try to do 4K gaming uh, at ultra settings or whatever, it's just not it's not meant for that. Um, this is a budget card, and um, you know, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, for what it is and, and for the, the price point, I think it's a pretty decent card. Um, it'll definitely, you know, serve my purpose for a while. Uh, so, you know, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, if anybody's got any comments about this particular card, if you have this card, you use this card, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. But if you guys are looking to maybe pick up this card, I will put a link in the, in the description below. So that will definitely help me out. Um, and if you could just hit the like button, share. Uh, and subscribe to help help the channel out. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks and have a good one. <laughs> what do we need to do? Hit that notification bell, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel.